Welcome. Say with me, everyone. Welcome. Go ahead, say it out loud. Welcome. Welcome. It's a powerful word of hospitality. But let me tell you this. It's really important that we uh, express this energy of welcome in the proper way. There was a pilot who was welcoming all the people on board just after they'd taken off uh, and flying off into the horizon. And he comes on the microphone and says, thank you for flying with us this morning. The weather is, and all of a sudden starts screaming, oh, 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 oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, it's burning. Well, you can imagine what the passengers began to feel and what they began to think and their emotions rising and the panic within their lives and what it's burning and he's screaming oh my god oh my god and suddenly the pilot comes up oh folks i sincerely apologize for the incident but i just dropped my cup of coffee on my lap you should see my pants one passenger shouts out why don't you come back here and see ours yeah what a welcome uh-huh it's really important that we understand that spirit of welcome and this word of great hospitality in Swahili, the language of Kenya, East Africa, they say karibu. I had wonderful years of ministry there and wonderful opportunities of growing and maturing in the lands of East Africa, Tanzania, Kenya, Uganda, Zanzibar, and in that environment, karibu meant come hither. What a wonderful invitation. Karibu, karibu, come hither, inviting others to come into your presence, desiring them expressing this intention. Now in English, the English word literally means one whose coming suits another's wish. So when we say welcome, we say it suits our wish, it's our desire. We welcome you, we're glad that you're here. We're expressing pleasure, desire, and choice in the word welcome. Well today, I'm talking to you about welcoming the good. That's right welcoming the good into our lives. You know, we live in a world today that is so challenged, it often may seem strange to welcome the all good into the journey of our lives because we constantly are focused on things that are not so good, don't feel so good, don't seem so good, and we can't say it can't all be good. There certainly has got to be something bad. And so what's really important is that we learn the fine art of spiritual practice, of welcoming the good. Karibu, come hither. Welcoming the good and saying, it is my divine pleasure. It is my good pleasure to have you come. This is my choice. I welcome you with great hospitality and intensity to say, I welcome the good to reside within me, within my thoughts, within my outlook, within my day-to-day -day experience. Here's how. We can welcome the good by, first of all, making a daily intention. I see good in all things. Say that with me, would you please? I see good in all things. I see good in all things. How important it is that we set that as our intention, that this be our desire, because we will start seeing what our mind is focused on. We will start to see what we want to see because quite often we're so busy in the world and we may not think about seeing the all good. We may not see, oh, this was a really good experience or this is turning out really wonderful or this is so amazing, I feel good about this experience. What's important is that we're creating a welcoming intention that simply says, I want to learn something more spiritually. I want to experience this goodness that's out there. It's all around us, but quite often, we're distracted from experiencing it to its full extent. So I encourage you to say it out loud. I want to learn more about this goodness. I want to experience it fully and to share it with your friends, to speak that in your words, in your conversation, in your dialogue, in that which you're typing on Facebook that says, I want to share this intention that every day I'm seeking the good. I'm looking for the good. I am seeing the good because it's all about consciously acknowledging this yearning or this curiosity because we've got to welcome something to experience it. 
We can't experience it if we're constantly pushing it away, shoving it away. But when we are constantly welcoming it, we're going to experience it to a greater level. So I encourage you to put up a welcome mat to the all good and say each and every day, I am welcoming the good because thoughts held in mind produce after their kind. So if you're holding in mind, I am welcoming the all good. I am seeing the all good. I'm experiencing the all good. The welcome mat, the doors are wide open to usher in the all good. Well, that's what's going to be focusing. That's what's going to be in the forefront of your mind. And that's what you'll see more and more. You can express this hospitality of goodness by also feeding your mind. Read those things that would enhance your spiritual journey. Read the things that call out the good. Now, it's easy in our world, there's plenty that calls out the negative. It's all around us. We may find the negative everywhere we turn and to read something that's a negative perspective on life or what's going on in our world, but I encourage you to read the good. Nurture the soul, nurture the very spirit of you with the good and feed your inquisitiveness to say, where can I see learn good? Or how can I learn more about good? How might I encounter more good? I wanna feed my mind with this wonderful essence of good. Because remember, knowledge and curiosity are the cornerstones of any rich spiritual journey. You wanna have a rich and vibrant spiritual life? Become curious, seek knowledge, go for the wisdom that's out there, and go for the wisdom of the all good that is there in every way. When we say the all good, we're referring to God. God is the all good because all the time God is good, God is good all the time. We embrace this wonderful understanding. I am seeing the good. I am seeing the divine. I am seeing God in all things and everything. And when we do this, what we're doing is creating a welcoming atmosphere by being just fully aware and open. And a great way to do that is by being still. Create a welcoming atmosphere. Now, I'm a Dutchman. I had the wonderful opportunity of serving in Holland, in Hoos Salens, and teaching in a girls' high school for a brief time of service. There, living with my Dutch relatives, one of the great traditions in Holland of the olden days was to go out and wash your front step, your stoop, Make sure your door was clean and your front step was clean. And so there was that sense of cleanliness. That's why we call it Dutch cleanser. We call it that good old Dutch cleaning that we have in our world because it was that perspective of, I want everything nice and clean. I want to create an atmosphere of hospitality, of welcoming, right? Starting at my front door. How important it is that they began to see this sense of creating an atmosphere that was welcoming for our spiritual lives. It's so important that we create a welcoming atmosphere for the all good to be seen and experienced to the full extent. We create a welcoming atmosphere simply by being still and quieting the mind. Get rid of all that monkey chatter that's going on constantly. Just be still and when you are in this beautiful, serene peace, this peace, peace, wonderful peace that Scott played, that beautiful selection, that song that proclaims coming down from the wonderful divine source above, that beautiful peace, it comes when we are silent and in the stillness, when we've quieted all the monkey chatter and all the noise of the world, all the things that are going on, and we just welcome this, we begin to open the door, we create this atmosphere for welcoming the all good. I wanna encourage you to be like a Dutchman and wash away the day of all of its cares and welcome the thoughts where there's no obstruction to the wisdom of the divine. Be that one that washes the gateway to your soul, your stoop, your doorway, shall we say it, your entrance, that it is clean and cleansed of all obstruction and just resting in a perfect Sabbath, a silence, a perfect rest a quiet, to be still and to know the all good, to know God is part of our important journey of our spiritual development. Now here's a clue that will help you in achieving your goal of welcoming the all good. Watch for some signs. That's right. 
Watch for some signs in your life. If you've been ushering in, if you've been welcoming the all good, watch for these signs because as you begin to cultivate a welcoming spiritual practice, you'll find that the universe will send you little hints and clues to encourage you on your pathway. All these wonderful hints, clues, that are there to guide you, to lead you in your life. Watch for some signs. You know, there was uh, one day when I was putting out a question that I had that my soul was wrestling with. And lo and behold, I had a conversation with someone who recommended a book to me. And I thought about that, wrote down the title. And in the next phone call, someone said, you know what, hey, I've got a great book to recommend you. It was the same book. And lo and behold, I went to the bookstore and searched for it, and there was the book jumping right off, shall we say, the display at me. And it was like, okay, I get it. I see the signs. And as I picked up the book, the answers to the questions, the burning desire within my heart to know, expressed this welcoming atmosphere, and the universe responded in this wonderful divine way. I want to say to you this, that there are simple ways that the universe is going to be speaking to you because let me tell you god is always speaking god this infinite universe is always speaking and if you're in tune you're silent if you're quiet you're going to begin to know the all good speaking to you and the all good directing you and the all good leading you on these wonderful pathways so even at this point i encourage you to ask for signs go ahead and ask you know what? It's really powerful to write a letter to God. We do it every year, traditionally here at City of Light. Uh, we write a letter to God in January. We fold it all up. We put it in an envelope. We address it. We put it in the church safe. And this year was mailed out in September to those who participated. They got their letter that they wrote proclaiming their vision for the upcoming year and the goodness and how God was going to work in their life. And I can imagine as they opened it up, this great surprise of how God worked in their life as they began to look back at this letter to God, this letter to the universe. You know, let the universe know, let God know that you're watching and waiting and seeing through spiritual eyes signs that affirm God's goodness, God's leading hand and direction in your life. So stay open. And you'll begin to feel these subtle course corrections that are given to us by the universe guiding us. So put out that welcome mat to the all good. And let the universe know that you desire good by first seeing the good that you have. We want to welcome wisdom. We want to welcome love. We want to welcome infinite possibilities. But too many people are shutting out the goodness that's all around them. I find in conversations, a lot of people are simply saying, in essence, I'm afraid of the all good. I'm uncomfortable seeing everything as good because I've been taught so much of my life to see things as that's not so good and pass judgment on it in negative ways. This isn't so great. This isn't so fantastic. How can this be all that great? You know, and so we're taught to say that we can't express that there's good in everything and everyone and in all things, wow, I'm a little uncomfortable, people have said, and I'm a little bit fearful of this. So I don't know if I can really practice it because you know I'm just not really there yet. And so what happens is we shut out the all good, but there's a lot of good out there that we're not acknowledging and we're not experiencing because quite often one of our great challenges is we're too busy wanting to change things. Instead of stopping and saying, what do I have that's pretty fantastic? It's pretty good that I've been blessed with and counting our blessings with that which we already have. But too often we're so busy thinking, I got to fix this. I got to change this. Here's my great challenge in life. Or I'm struggling with this. Or our eyes are so often on the next move or the next thing that we can't even see the good right here in this moment, in the now. So what happens is we miss it so often. We don't see the good because we're focused always on what needs to be improved. Instead of saying, wait a minute, what good do I have right now? How is God manifested right now in this moment? What's the good that I'm experiencing here and now? Because what happens is when we throw out the welcome mat to the all good, we are breaking down the walls and barriers that we've formed over the years of our lives. 
there is the goodness that's within us that wants to radiate and shine, but we've allowed barriers to come over our life that hinder us from expressing this real beauty, this goodness, this divine awareness. The psalmist wrote in a beautiful passage in chapter 37, verses 5 through 6. I'd like to read it to you from a contemporary translation, The Message. Open up before God. Keep nothing back. God will do what needs to be done. God will validate your life in the clear light of day and stamp you with approval at high noon. Open up. Open up before God. Go ahead and usher a welcoming spirit, a welcoming atmosphere. Throw out the welcome mat to the all good. Let it come in. Let it just flow into your life. Break open the dams that have held back the flush, the flow of the divine goodness that's been wanting to rush into your life. It was there, but you couldn't see it or experience it because you blocked it with so much fear. Open up before God. Keep nothing back. That means holding nothing back, but swing the door wide open, you know? Just let it go wide, not just a partial open, not just a little crack in the door, but let it swing wide open, hold nothing back, and allow this divine goodness to flow into your life. God will do whatever needs to be done and validate your life. How important is we understand that this beautiful expression and stamp your life with approval. Stamp your life with saying, this is good, this is good. This is great, this is wonderful. Stamp it with an approval. You see, quite often in the journey of our lives, we haven't even seen the, old, uh, the good within us. That we're created in God's goodness. Let me tell you, God wants to stamp the stamp of approval, of good on your life, just as you are. In a world that constantly wants to say there is no good in you, there's no good in your life, no good in your way, no good in this or that. We want to acknowledge that as we welcome the spirit of goodness, what's happening is God stamping your life with this wonderful proclamation. There is goodness. I approve. You are good. You are blessed. You are wonderful. You are amazing. And on it may go within our law. So today, I'm inviting you to welcome the good, to do so with such intensity that number one, you have set it as your daily intention. I wake up in the morning, I get out of bed, and what do you say? I want to see good. I'm ready for the good. I welcome the all good. It's my intention. And as you express that desire, let me tell you, you'll see all good. It will happen for you. Feed your mind with the goodness. Let it be that which nurtures your thinking, your consciousness. Be silent and allow those moments of quiet to enhance your spiritual journey. If you've had trouble experiencing the all good, I can't emphasize this enough. Take some time out to learn the fine art of being still, of meditation, of quiet, of centering your life, and allow the Spirit of God to speak versus you always speaking to God. Allow God to speak to you. And God's voice of goodness will unfold for you the understanding of the all good. And then watch for those signs. Watch for those signs that are constantly revealing to you, this is good, that's good, this has been wonderful, you've been blessed, you've got the stamp of approval on your life, look at you, you are amazing, there is good in you, around you, and always for you. This is the journey of our life. I encourage you to... Claim as your day-to-day -day journey the expression, welcome, welcome, and do so with great intensity. I welcome the good. Amen. Thank you so much.